Before we eat this, let me check temperature. Oh, I can't do this with one hand. Ninety-eight point zero. Last night it was ninety-nine point six, so it's a little bit better. I feel a little bit better than yesterday. I'll talk to you guys after I like fix this, cause disgusting. <laughs> okay, <clears throat> sorry. So. As you can see, I'm clearly pretty sick. The first night I got here on Friday night, I slept a total of zero hours. I never really get jet lag, but that night, I guess, I just, I don't know, I couldn't sleep, like, I don't know why. The whole next day, we worked out in the morning, and, like, my body didn't feel it yet, and then I was really tired, so I took a nap, and then we went to get dinner, and then the next morning, we got up and went to the indoor skydiving, which was super fun, but I still, we probably, I probably got, like, six hours of sleep, so it wasn't, like, enough to catch up. After that, we were gonna go to District Barbell to train, and I was still really, really tired, but I ended up just like, I wanted to do the workout, so I pushed through, and I figured I was just really tired, um, and I could like kinda just push through it, cause sometimes like, I was like, oh, I got some sleep last night, so I'll be fine. You guys saw at the end of the video, I talked about how I stopped filming. I was very sick, like I, I automatically just got like, the chills and then I was sneezing and coughing. I felt really bad yesterday, really bad. I feel slightly better today, but I'm still gonna head to the doctor. Um, I was supposed to head home today actually. My flight was supposed to be this morning, but I just felt so bad that I wasn't about to get on the plane for six hours, like feeling like this, this thing. So, going to head to urgent care. Take this very large water with me. You're awesome for having Hershey's Kisses back here. Chocolate and water. Oh, that's such a good idea. <laughs> Thank you. Urgent care center. The Uber driver just told me to grab more chocolate so I feel better. He's cute. <laughs> There's four pages total. No temperature, normal blood pressure, testing me for the flu, and then if not, we'll see what else is going on. I get to wear this cool mask. It is confirmed. I have the flu. <laughs> I didn't think I had the flu or anything, but um, I'm just picking up some more Dayquil and Nyquil because I have used almost all of Brian and Matt's Dayquil and Nyquil. The doctor said that if I came in a little bit earlier, so I think the symptoms started like two days ago, and um, since the flu is a virus, influenza is a virus, you can't do anything to treat it. But you can prevent it, um, or you can like make it not last as long if you take something um so she's giving me tamiflu but it's probably not going to do anything um and aside from that i kind of just have to let it take its course so let this be a lesson learned to you guys who never go to the doctor if you're sick um you can probably like make it stop happening or like make it not last as long basically if you just go to the doctor and get some medicine it's okay to go to the doctor it's okay to get medicine i always like my nursing background i always go to the doctor pretty much immediately because if i can stop feeling like crap earlier then I will do that um, if I can take some medicine to stop feeling like crap earlier I will a thousand percent do that and I know at the end of the day um, I'm usually very healthy I haven't gotten sick in like a year and a half like since I moved to California I haven't been sick once I don't think um, I mean even if I had my uh, immune system just fights it off but I think with the lack of sleep that one night and then um, like just pushing myself throughout the rest of the weekend to like make sure I go do stuff. I might have gotten exposed to it while I was traveling. I've been traveling a ton. So um, with all of the combination of those things, my body's just telling me to slow down. So sorry if this vlog isn't gonna be fun, but I'm picking up some NyQuil and then I'm gonna rest and then I'm gonna eat soup and stuff. And yeah, yeah. <laughs> 
And I'm also gonna do a small chicken noodle soup. We got some chicken soup from Subway. Vitamin water zero. Baked Lay's because lower fat. For my sandwich, I have a wheat flatbread, turkey, cheese, tomato, banana pepper, honey mustard, and lettuce. Watch a really good movie. The Dark Knight Rises is on, and I'm super into Gotham. Um, so watching this is like great. Hold on. Number two, get a good boyfriend that brings you soup and flowers and does nice things. <laughs> Brian's been great this whole entire time that I've been sick. Like the one week in a month, um, we get to see each other. We've only seen each other like once a month since we started dating. It's only been three months, but still we're long distance. He lives across the country. Um, and I wanted to have a great fun weekend where it was energetic and like we were doing stuff, but like I've been a vegetable for the last two days. But he actually does work uh, Monday through Friday, nine to five. Um, so he's been at work and I've actually been able to like just sleep while he's working, which I guess it kind of worked out for the better. Um, number three, these are the real ones now. Don't go to the gym when you're sick. I pushed myself. I didn't realize I was sick Saturday and Sunday. Um, I was just tired because I hadn't slept on Friday night. So I didn't realize that I was actually sick. But if I knew that I had the flu or I had like a real, real sickness, um, I felt like crap from actually being sick, I wouldn't have gone to the gym, guys. Don't try to go and like push yourself when you feel really bad because at the end of the day, you're not gonna reach your goals any faster if you're not recovering and you don't have your health. So if you don't have your health, you don't have anything, you're not gonna hit your goals, you're just gonna be still sick and not, and not functioning at 100%. You're gonna be functioning at like 75, 80%, and then it's just better if you take time off, rest, recover, and get back into the gym um, and be fully refreshed and actually be able to do 100%, if that makes sense. Number two, some people take this one way or another. You could take it as, um, so you're sedentary, you're not training, you're not doing any cardio, um, so you should eat less, right? Um, for me and for my, my coach has always taught me as well, you should probably not do that only because, think about recovery again, food is going to help you recover. Calories, um, your body's burning more calories or like it's, it's just working harder to stay healthier because it's not functioning um, optimally when you're sick. So if you don't have enough calories, it's not gonna recover as fast. Same thing as if you're training and you're keeping um, your body in like a lack of recovery state. You wanna be as recovered as possible. So what I do is I eat at maintenance or a little bit more, like which is what I'm doing right now. Um, and I'm just like eating enough and like not stressing about it because I know I'm gonna need food to recover faster. Number six or whatever, five maybe it is? I don't know, sleep, get enough sleep. Number six or five or whatever is to drink enough fluids. I have not drank enough water. So I'm gonna try to drink two of these today. I think I've drank one so far, maybe half of one, I don't know. Um, but yeah, those are my tips. And it's with other, right? So normally my man, it does most of the speaking, right? It's Brian not. got me four different kinds of soups, potentially, to try. <laughs> options, <laughs> gotta have options. So nice. Thank you, babe. Of course. Appreciate it. The flu. We need the we need that treatment. Got me soup and ice cream, and then soup, dinner. Ice cream, dinner. Picked up dinner. What else? Love. <laughs> this is the best part of the movie. Oh my god! You don't even have a rope on. Yes. Batman, love you. Go save Gotham. Yes. He makes food and everything. <laughs> he makes food. Heats up potatoes. Tastes you, better this way. Anyways. You brought it home for me. It counts. We got veggies. Fresh from the garden. Fresh. He picked them himself. Organic. 
Cage free broccoli. Cage free. <laughs> this is my appetizer. I'm better now though. I feel a little bit better. I feel a thousand times better than yesterday. That's for damn sure. I think I'll even be able to get on a plane tomorrow. Yay. Yeah, yeah. That size or did it shrink a little bit? The chicken? What? Yeah. Was it always that size? I, I just thought it was bigger when it was in the package. I think it looks smaller than the It's house. a midget chicken. <laughs> <laughs> Are you talking about maybe, 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 maybe the pan just makes it look small? I I picked it lost finest, its gains. Chicken. The finest of rotisseries. You did put it in a large pan, it probably looks smaller. If you put it in a small pan, it would have looked larger. I can crush one of these. On